and welcome to our lesson on multiplying with mixed numbers. So we're going to begin by multiplying 2 and 1 half by 3 over 5. To multiply with mixed numbers we need to convert it to a top heavy fraction. So we have 2 and 1 half, the 2 is 4 halves plus the 1 half. So in total we have 5 halves. And this is how you convert a mixed number to a top heavy fraction. And we're going to multiply this by 3 over 5. Now we can cross simplify with this numerator and this denominator. So we're going to divide both by the highest common factor, which is 5. So we have 5 divided by 5, which is 1 over 2, multiplied by 3 divided by 5 divided by 5, which is again 1. So we have 3 over 2, which we can write as a mixed number as 1 and 1 half. And for question B, we have 1 third multiplied by 1 and 3 quarters. So again, we're going to convert this mixed number to a top heavy fraction, which is the 1, which is 4 quarters, plus the 3 quarters. So in total we have 7 quarters. So we have 1 third multiplied by 7 over 4. And you can see in this question, you cannot cross simplify. So we're going to do 1 times 7, which is the numerator, divided by 3 times 4, which is the denominator, and that will make 7 twelfths. Do you want to try and work out questions C and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question C, we're going to convert this to a top heavy fraction, which is 2 halves at 1 half, which is 3 over 2. And we're going to convert this to a top heavy fraction, which is 4 over 3. You can see we can cross simplify with the 3 over 3. We divide both by the highest common factor. And we can cross simplify here and here, dividing both by 2. So we have 1 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 1. So we have 2. And for question D, as a top of the fraction, this is 12 fifths multiplied by 7 quarters. And you can see we can cross simplify here and here. We can divide both by 4. So we have 3 fifths multiplied by 7 over 1, which is 21 over 5. And as a mixed number, this is 4 and 1 fifth. OK, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and calculate which of these two rectangles has the greatest area? Remembering that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. OK, for the pink rectangle, we have the length of 2 multiplied by the width of 5 over 4. We're going to write this 2 as a fraction, which is 2 over 1, multiplied by 5 over 4. We can cross simplify here and here, divide both by 2. So we have 1 over 1 multiplied by 5 over 2. So the area is 5 over 2, or 2 and 1 half centimetre squared. For the blue rectangle, we have 1 and 3 fifths multiplied by 13 over 8. We can write this at the top of a fraction. We have 8 fifths multiplied by 13 over 8. You can see we can cross simplify here and here. Divide both by 8. So we have 1 over 5 multiplied by 13 over 1, which is 13 fifths. And then mixed number, this is 2 and 3 fifths, which are the decimal is 2.6 centimetres squared. So you can see the blue rectangle at the greater area of 0.1 centimetre squared. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful.